Hey guys, welcome to Master Life by Design. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like or subscribe button below. <laughs> like us, give us the thumbs up, comment below too, or share this if you feel like this is gonna serve you today. So the question I have for you is, have you ever found yourself in a position where you have so many opportunities and you didn't know which one to pick? Have you found yourself in a position where you know you want to create this incredible lifestyle, create life by design, but you just don't know where to start because there's so many things going on in your world? Well, today we're here to talk to you about focusing on that one thing. So I don't know about you guys, but there have been times in my life where I've been infamous from having my hands in too many cookie jars. I've got this project and that project and this project and that project. And there were so many moments that I was like, what do they say, like the jack of all trades, but the master at nothing. Um, and so today we're gonna talk to you about why it's so important to really have that single-minded focus. I think we were brought together because I too was in that <laughs> position. I remember when I was in network marketing, um, I had so many different things going on because I was just trying to get ahead. I was I was broke. I was thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt, and I was trying to do anything and everything to make money. Moving, I remember I was so broke <laughs> that I even gave plasma for money. Like I was sitting around next to homeless people just to get a thirty dollar check from them. So anyway, my, I remember my buddy. He was um, really played that integral role in my life where he said, "Look, you're never gonna master anything." And a master focuses on one thing and one thing only. I know we work with a ton of clients and I yeah. see this all the time. We see it all the time is they have so many things going on and they don't know which one to focus on because they feel or they have this belief that if they play in all the buckets, then eventually it'll get them out. And that's just not the truth. The truth is when you focus on one area and you master that area and you get your freedom, then you can go and play mm -hmm. in more buckets. Yeah. In fact, we did a video, we did an interview mm -hmm. where we interviewed a friend of ours, Joseph Carter, where he has a lot going on. But what most people don't understand is he's in a position where he's free because he became a master in learning how to make money online. Yeah. Now he can do it in multiple ways. So many people get confused. They think, oh, well, let me go do Amazon. Let me go yeah. do eBay. Let me go do Shopify. Let yeah. me do my own business. And you don't require, know the time that's required for it. Yeah. So there was a great book out there. It's called The One Thing. And when I read this book, it changed the way I did some certain practices with clients and with myself. And nowadays, I ask myself, what's the one thing I can do that's gonna move the needle massively forward for me? And so today, it was recording these videos, right? For us <laughs> to record these videos. Yeah. And so I ask clients at the end of every call, when it comes to their goals, what's going to help? What's the one thing you can do for each goal that's gonna help you move the needle forward in your goals? Yeah, because 80% of our success comes from 20% of our results. And so if you are- Actions. 80%, yes, actions. <laughs> Let me re-say that, okay. <clears throat> no, 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 this is perfect. See, this is live, <laughs> this is great. We're keeping this. We're not gonna uh, edit it out. So look, it's called baby- Brain. <laughs> baby brain, she's pregnant right now. She's 24 weeks. So anyway, let's get, go back. Say that again, let them know what we were saying. Yeah, so what I was saying is 80% of our success comes from 20% of our actions. And so if you're really focused on the most important, the one thing that's gonna move that needle forward, you're going to be making massive progress in your life and in your goals. Think about it, just generically. If you were to say, I wanna get in the best shape of my life, and every day you ask that question, and every day you decided your answer was to eat absolutely clean, all of a sudden, after a few weeks, you would see your body transform into a shape that you've never <laughs> experienced before. You would be so happy, so proud. You might even be doing selfies on Instagram and Facebook, <laughs> right? So, you know, when you would be like, I would never do that. <laughs> so let me give you a real life example and the power of focusing on the one thing. <clears throat> I had a client, he came to me and he had mul his hands in multiple buckets, multiple projects, because he was believing, under the psychology, the illusion that if he didn't, he wouldn't be able to pay his bills. What we told him was, and this is the example I'd like to give, if you were given 100 units of energy every day, and you had five different buckets to earn income, 
If you were just to divide it up equally, you would at best be 20 or 20% in each bucket of units of energy. Now, if Christina was doing the same thing, but she had one bucket, she would be able to deposit 100 units of energy in that bucket that you're in too, but you only have 20%. Mm -hmm. She's Good. five times likely to kick your butt and succeed. So if you're wondering why you see your friends or your family just going way past you, or your mentors going way past you and where you wanna be, it's because maybe, just maybe, you're focused on multiple things instead of that one thing where you can deposit that 100 units of energy every day. So let me give you a real example. Like I said, my client, he had multiple things going on. We started working with him and under this illusion that he was under and we said, okay, what's the one thing that would allow you to have the most success? And as he started to identify that, I asked him, well, what if we were to focus only on that? What would be produced if we every day deposit of 100 units of energy into that? And he gave me his answer and everything. And so I asked him ultimately, are you gonna continue to be a dabbler or do you wanna become a master? And as he said he wanted to be a master, he did just that. I was so proud of him. He put the other things to his side or he found a way to let them go or even delegate. leverage, yeah, yeah, delegate for him to still earn some income from it. But as a result, we fast forward to now, he's making well over $300,000 a month. Instead of him making $5,000 a month in his business, his business is doing well over $5 million a month. He's now at the point where he could grow other businesses, which he is, and he's working on another company that's producing almost $10 million in gross revenue a month. And so I'm not saying or declaring that if you focus on one thing, that's gonna be your story. What I'm saying is if you were to focus on that one thing, you're gonna be light years ahead of where you would have been if you were just playing a little bit of units of energy here, a little bit here, a little bit here and here. Yeah, and I'm intuitive. I can hear you guys thinking. So here's a question that I feel like they might <clears throat> have, and I think you could relate this to the book. So let's say they're like, Joe, I know the one thing that I want to do with my life, the one thing that I'm really passionate about, and I have a job. I work 40 or more hours a week. How am I supposed to focus all my attention on this one thing? Great question. Look, why <laughs> she's good, right? That's why I put a ring on it. <clears throat> so here's the deal. This is what I found is I was reading a book, it's called The Originals, and we'll put the link below so you guys can get yourself that copy. It's an incredible book, but they actually did a study of people who are focused on building their business, but they're in a position where they gotta pay the bills, right? Let's be honest, we all gotta pay the bills. And so what, we, what the study has shown was that people who are working a job and work on their business part-time on the side, they have a higher percentage of success than those that just quit their job, make the jump out of complete faith, and try to make their business work. And so what I found is that when I work with clients is we want to be careful depending on where they are, but and everyone's path is different. But my recommendation at this point would be build your business on the side. Know you gotta work your time, you know, your nine to five, come home, spend time with the family, and then like Gary Vaynerchuk says, from like eight or nine to two in the morning or midnight, go to work on your business, stay focused on that. Now, in true transparency, do Christina and I work on our business till midnight? No way. <laughs> you know, but if we also have a certain schedule that we've created for our life where we can work during the day on our business as it comes. So unless you're at that point, you don't need to work that, you know, midnight, burn that midnight oil. I'm not an advocate of sacrificing sleep consistently. That's the key word, it's consistently. I think sleep is extremely important and if you're not recharging, you're just dying, your battery's dying. So wanna make sure that, yes, there may be some nights you may need to sacrifice, but make sure you get your rest. And so the other thing, we'll kind of like backtrack just a little bit to what we were saying before. If you are working in a job that you're looking to get out of, make sure that you're very clear on what your next step is in your passion or in the career or excuse me in um, what you're building for yourself because really if you can be single-mindedly focused on knowing what that next step is without thinking too far ahead and overwhelming yourself 
that's going to really support you as well. Yeah, just take that first step. Look, if we're, you know, if you're in California and you want to go to New York or Florida, maybe Florida because it's warmer down there, <laughs> but you can't see that full path, mm -hmm. right? All you could see is where your headlights allow you to see that mm -hmm. 200 yards in front of you in the next 200 and the next 200. So if we would apply that same philosophy like you already do in driving to your business and saying, okay, what's the one step? Let me focus on that till that's done. Once it's done, then let me decide what's that next step and yeah. focus on that till it's done. That's going to help you make a massive difference. Yeah. So you guys might be thinking, hey Joe, I have that nine to five and if I work on my side business, I have my hands in multiple pots. What we're saying is focus on that one thing that's gonna help move you to where you want your life to be, that life by design you've created in your mind. Focus on building that and if you gotta pay the bills, you gotta pay the bills. That's mm -hmm. just, you know, that's just how it is. Yeah. All right, so. As we wrap this video up, what I want you to do, and I always wanna have some practical application for you, I'd like you to think about where you are right now and what's the one thing that you need to do to start moving yourself forward in what you wanna create in your life. Maybe for some of you, maybe it's that you don't even know where you wanna be, you don't know what your ideal day or ideal life would look like. That if you made life by design, what that looks like. Maybe that's your first step. Or maybe you do have your business and you haven't planned out the map and what you need to do to take those action steps to help close the gap from where you are to where you wanna be. So I'm gonna challenge you to go ahead, take that next step, what's the one thing you could focus on and I would like for you to comment below what it is that you're focused on and when you're gonna have it done by so that we can help hold you accountable to mm -hmm. it and the community can help too. Mm -hmm. Anything you wanna share with that? You guys are amazing and you deserve to master your life by design. Look, you wouldn't be here on this earth, right? You're more than enough. That next step, it's you wouldn't be given that dream. God wouldn't have downloaded that dream into you if you weren't supposed to go out there and fulfill it. The challenge is we allow this internal game to kind of stop us from our destiny and what we want to create. You wouldn't be here and you wouldn't have this purpose in your life if there wasn't a reason for you to be here. So you may not know how, you may not know or see that path and that's okay because it's not about how do you get there, it's but more of who do you need to be to get you there. Mm -hmm. And so you have a mission, you have a purpose on this earth for a specific reason to go out there and make an impact for other people. So go out there, get clear what's the one thing that take that next step and then we wanna know about it so comment again below. So with that being said, <laughs> we're gonna wrap up we're Joe and Christina Moffitt, aka T Moffitt. We actually have Joseph Mackay Moffitt in the valley, in the womb here with us today. So go out there, make today count. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share this if you like the video. We appreciate you guys and love you guys. Have a good one. See ya.